Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the People's Republic of China, followed by the national anthem of the United States.
Good morning, everyone. President Hu, members of the Chinese delegation, on behalf of Michelle and myself, welcome to the White House. And on behalf of the American people, welcome to the United States. Hu Juxi, Chinese delegation members, all the members, I represent Michelle, and by my personal name, I welcome you to the White House. I also represent the American people. Three decades ago, on a January day like this, another American president stood here and welcomed another Chinese leader for the historic normalization 
of relations between the United States and the People's Republic of China. On that day, Deng Xiaoping spoke of the great possibilities of cooperation between our two nations. Looking back on that winter day in 1979, it is now clear the previous 30 years had been a time of estrangement for our two countries. The 30 years since have been a time of growing exchanges and understanding. And with this visit, we can lay the foundation for the next 30 years. At a time when some doubt the benefits of cooperation between the United States and China, this visit is also a chance to demonstrate a simple truth. We have an enormous stake in each other's success. In an interconnected world, in a global economy, nations, including our own, will be more prosperous and more secure when we work together. The United States welcomes China's rise as a strong, prosperous, and successful member of the community of nations. Indeed, China's success has brought with it economic benefits for our people as well as yours. And our cooperation on a range of issues has helped advance stability in the Asia Pacific and in the world. We also know this. History shows that societies are more harmonious, nations are more successful, and the world is more just when the rights and responsibilities of all nations and all people are upheld including the universal rights of every human being. We also know this. History shows that we can learn from our people, Chinese and American students and educators, business people, tourists, researchers, and scientists, including Chinese Americans who are here today. They work together and make progress together every single day. They know that even as our nations compete in some areas, we can cooperate in so many others in a spirit of mutual respect for our 
，包括今天在场的华裔美国人，每天都在并肩合作，共同努力。他们知道，即使我们两国在某些领域彼此竞争，我们还可以在那么多其他领域，本着相互尊敬的精神，为了我们共同利益而进行合作。What Deng Xiaoping said long ago remains true today. There are still great possibilities for cooperation between our countries. President Hu, members of the Chinese delegation, let us seize these possibilities together. Welcome to the United States of America. Huan Ying. Deng Xiaoping 先生多年前所说过的话仍然符合实际。我们两国间合作的可能仍然很广阔。胡主席，中国代表团的各位成员，让我们共同抓住这些可能吧。欢迎各位来到美利坚合众国，欢迎。总统先生，奥巴马夫人。女士们、先生们、朋友们，很高兴应奥巴马总统的邀请，在议员赴死的时机来到华盛顿，对美国进行国事访问。此时此刻，我仅代表十三亿中国人民，向美国人民致以诚挚的问候和良好的祝愿。Mr. President, Mrs. Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it gives me great pleasure to come to Washington and pay a state visit to the United States at the beginning of the new year at the invitation of President Obama. At this point in time, let me extend, on behalf of the 1.3 billion Chinese people, sincere greetings and best wishes to the people of the United States. 我这次访问美国，是为增进互信、加强友谊、深化合作、推动二十一世纪积极合作、全面的中美关系继续向前发展而来。I have come to the United States to increase mutual trust, enhance friendship, deepen cooperation, and push forward the positive, cooperative. And comprehensive China-U.S. relationship for the 21st century. 中美建交三十二年来，两国关系已经成长为具有战略意义和全球影响的双边关系。奥巴马总统就职以来，在双方共同努力下，两国各领域合作成果丰硕，中美关系得到新的发展。为两国人民带来了实实在在的利益，为世界的和平与发展做出了重要贡献。Over the past 32 years since the establishment of diplomatic ties, the China-U.S. relationship has grown into one with strategic significance and global influence. Since President Obama took office, with concerted efforts of the two sides. Our cooperation in various fields has produced fruitful results, and our relations have achieved new progress. This has brought real benefits to our two peoples and contributed greatly to world peace and development. In the 21st century, the first time in the 各国人民都期待世界发展的更好。面对新形势、新挑战，中美两国拥有广泛的共同利益，肩负着重要的共同责任。我们应该登高望远，求同存异，共同推动中美关系长期健康稳定发展。我希望通过这次访问，推进。积极合作、全面的中美关系，开启两国伙伴合作新篇章。As we enter the second decade of the 21st century, the people of both China and the United States want to see further progress in our relations. 
and people around the globe want to see greater prosperity in the world. Under the new circumstances and in the face of new challenges, China and the United States share broad common interests and important common responsibilities. We should adopt a long-term perspective, seek common ground while reserving differences, and work together to achieve sustained, sound, and steady development of our relations. I hope that through this visit, our two countries will advance the positive, cooperative, and comprehensive relationship and open a new chapter in our cooperation as partners. Our cooperation as partners should be based on mutual respect. We live in an increasingly diverse and colorful world. China and the United States should respect each other's choice of development path and each other's core interests. We should deepen mutual understanding through communication, increase mutual trust through dialogue, and expand common ground through exchanges. Our cooperation as partners should be based on mutual benefit. China's future and destiny are increasingly tied to those of the world. In China, U.S. relations have become closer. Our two countries should seek to learn from each other through exchanges and achieve win-win progress through cooperation. This is the right approach for us to develop our relations. Our cooperation as partners should be based on joint efforts to meet challenges. China and the United States should step up communication and coordination in international affairs, work together to counter the global challenges, and make a greater contribution to world peace and development. Our cooperation as partners should be based on the extensive involvement of the people. The Chinese and American people cherish deep friendship towards each other, and they fought side by side at defining moments in history when the future and the destiny of mankind were at the stake. The two peoples should expand exchanges and enhance friendship. This will offer an inexhaustible driving force for the growth of our relations. Ladies and gentlemen, our world today is undergoing major development, major changes, and major adjustments. To pursue peace, development, and cooperation is the irresistible trend of our time. Let us seize the opportunity to forge ahead 
hand in hand and work together to enhance cooperation as partners. And let us work with all other countries to build a harmonious world of lasting peace and common prosperity. Thank you once again, Mr. President, for your warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.